Hello. In this video, we will look at some questions on implementing Python stack data structure. Now, what is a stack? Stack is a linear data structure implemented in last in and first out or LIFO manner, which means insertion and deletion happens only at one end, like for an example, a stack of plates, where you stack from the top and also remove the plates from top only. Now what are the different operations which we can perform on the stack? You could be asked to implement any of them in your exam. Let's look at all of them one by one. First is the push operation. Push is nothing but inserting data in stack. It adds data to the stack. As we just learned, we can insert data only on top of the stack. Now you also need to know the term overflow which refers to a situation which occurs when the stack we try to push an item into is full. This can occur if the size of stack is fixed or there is no memory to allocate a new item. Next is pop operation. Pop is delete operation. It deletes an element from the top of the stack. Now if the stack is empty and you still try to pop an item, then this situation is called as underflow. Next is peak. It refers to checking the value at the top of the stack without removing it. It is also called as inspecting the stack. Next is is empty. This operation checks if the stack is empty. Then there is display. It traverses the entire stack and prints all elements of the stack. Now the question you could be asked is to implement any of these operations as per user choice. It could be that each node contains only one data item, let's say a number or name, or it could have multiple items in one node like student information or city with its pin, etc. We will start with implementing stack of numbers and in the end we will see how to change it for different data types. The way we will implement all of these operations is that we will write a function to implement each of them and in our main program we will take user choice and accordingly call these functions. If you are asked to implement any two of these operations then you can accordingly just remove the remaining functions. Now let's start with main function. We will create a loop where we will first write the main menu where user will select any of the stack options. This loop will execute till user wishes to exit. Once we take an option from the user, we will put an if statement to call the stack function. In Python, we use list to implement stack. So we will have a list variable declared for it. We will first implement the push function. Let's write the declaration for it. Now in this program, since the stack is global, if you wish you can avoid passing it as a parameter. We will however pass it as a parameter in all of our functions as typically the questions that are asked ask us to pass it as a parameter. The push function will take in the stack and also the item to be added. Now the list has a very useful function append. It automatically adds a new member to the end. So in this function, we will just call stack.append with the item. We will then go back to main to add the code to call the push function. We will write the code to take in a number from the user via an input command. Then we will call push function with stack and item. Next we will implement the pop function. Let's write the declaration for it. It will take in the stack. Inside the function, we will first check if stack is empty or not. If yes, then we will have stack underflow condition and we will just print it. Else, we will use pop function of list to pop the last item. We can then either print the item or return it back from our function as required by the question. We will then go to main and add the code to pop the last item. We will take in the value returned by pop here and print it here too. 
Now we will implement peak. Peak just shows the topmost item without removing it. Let's first write the declaration of the function. In a stack, the topmost item is the last item in the list, which is the element at minus one index. So we will first check if stack is empty. If yes, we will just print stack empty. Otherwise, we will print the element at index minus one. If the question has specified to return that value, we can return it too. Next, we will implement is empty function. This function checks if stack is empty or not. So in this function implementation, we will just put an if condition to check if stack is empty or not. If yes, we will print stack empty. Otherwise, print not empty. This function can return true or false also. We will call this function in main as per option entered by the user. Next, we will implement display function. Now in display, you can at a very basic level, just call print stack. This will print all the contents in the list. As typically the stack is huge, you can also print them one by one by iterating through them. We will now go back to main and call this function in the display option. Now the question could be also to save multiple items like student data name, roll number, marks. Here also the change is only in the push operation. We will first take in the three values, then we will create the item node by creating a list of all the three values. Once we have created this node, again the program does not need any other change and whole program will work with this list as individual items as nested list. Now you can try running this program and if you are asked to implement any two of the functions, you can just write those ones. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit my website for more Python programs to practice on. Good luck!